So I just came across one of the worst, most pathetic hit pieces I have ever seen on Cardano. And the reason why I'm bringing it to everybody's attention is you need to be careful what you read out there. You need to be careful what you stumble across. Because this article, for example, says crypto research firm says sell all your ADA. And here's why. It's a pretty pathetic title, especially for the uh, the lack of research that was done here. So the, coincidentally enough, K33 Research prominent entity in the cryptocurrency research sector has released a scathing report about ADA. So, and this is just filled with terrible, terrible information. So what he said is a smart contract network needs meaningful use for its native token to have any value. The Cardano network, however, has no meaningful use or any credible track to get it. This is a hundred percent incorrect. First of all, your native token can gain value just by liquidity pools. And guess what? On centralized exchanges, you have some of the largest liquidity pools. That's where ADA has gained a lot of its value. Remember, a lot of a lot of Cardano's life cycle or ADA's life cycle, there wasn't actually a fully functioning chain. There was no real way to gain on-chain value during that time. So much of ADA's value came from buying and selling on centralized exchanges. So again, that's not the only way you can get value. Now I'll get further on this in a second here. Now, what he said is there's nothing else going on in the Cardano network than exchange transfers and a group of bag holders fabricating blockchain activity, which is the biggest lie I've ever seen in my life. Apparently he has done almost no research. The Cardano ecosystem is very robust. There are tons of different options on here to utilize gaming metaverse. I believe there's AI development too, meme coins, lending platforms, infrastructure, DeFi, right? There's, there's tons of things that you can actually utilize within Cardano, not to mention the over 4,000 tokens, the multi-billion dollar ecosystem that is thriving. There is a lot that is actually going on here behind the scenes that apparently this K39 research or 33 research isn't paying attention to because apparently they're must have been just paid to, to you know, downplay Cardano or, or attack Cardano. Now, what he said was one of the most telling indicators of inactivity is the situation of stable coins on the Cardano network. K33 Research points out the absence of major stable coins like USDT and USDC on Cardano is a clear indicator that no meaningful decentralized finance activities are taking place. Wrong. The only stable coin... Stable coins present are, are reportedly Cardano centralized and valued at 76 cents to the dollar, which refers to us or refers to as another word for nothing. Now, what he's referencing here is Jed. Jed is completely different. It's not it's not the same type of of stable as a fiat backed stable. Token. It has a very different mechanism. And I want to remind people that there are multiple fiat backed regulatory compliance stable coins that are being developed on Cardano. They're just doing it in house. They're not outsourcing it. They don't want to pay to play. And that's, I think not necessarily a bad thing. Would it be great to have USDT or USDC or die or something like that? Sure. Absolutely. I've talked about that in other videos, but to say that there's no value because there's no stable coin on Cardano is just stupid. And then he puts out this chart to uh network stable coin value relative to the market cap of the native token. Now, another thing on here that just, again, made me smack my head against the wall is ADA is a well-established coin that is tradable everywhere. Also on a smaller local exchanges, making it one of the coins that are pushed to aspiring crypto investors. Cardano has an enticing story for newcomers with Cardano being branded as the peer reviewed research driven blockchain network which it is, you know, we know that the length of time for development has been a long one, but it's also the reason why there hasn't been any downtime. There hasn't been any exploits and, and Cardano network performance is probably one of the best out there. All right. And I don't know why he's necessarily uh, kind of dogging on exchanges. Again, that's where a huge portion of liquidity comes from. And guess what? It wasn't available everywhere. It wasn't on FTX. Just want to mention that. So now this, this one just, absolutely pissed me off. So what he said was ADA has not rallied in line with other stronger smart contract tokens when markets have improved. The report states suggesting a gradual fade from relevance rather than an abrupt disappearance. Now, what he's actually showing here in this chart is the drawdown since September of 2021. He's actually referencing Ethereum, Solana, and AVAX. So some of the coins that have performed the best, all right, 
So Ethereum obviously did not have as big of a retracement as everything else. It's been around longer. It's further into its regression curve. It's not going to fall as much. Solana and AVAX, you know, AVAX is, has done well. Network activity has ramped up. Solana, I've referenced before what I think the reason for the pump is. But here's the thing is you're they're referencing ADA against some of the best performing assets during this bear market cycle. And ADA performs not as great during bear markets. But this doesn't mean that ADA hasn't performed well. From the bottom, it actually did a 3x, all right? How, how are other protocols, how are other networks doing? How's BNB doing? Didn't do a 3x. How's XRP doing? Didn't do a 3x. Doge didn't. Polkadot didn't. Tron didn't. Chainlink didn't. Matic didn't. The largest, uh, the largest layer two. You guys get the point. ADA's actually performed quite well. So referencing this doesn't make any sense. Now, what he's also saying is that, yeah, this market dominance that ADA has is bleeding. It's not, all right? It's actually creating higher highs, higher lows. It's actually ascending from market cycle to market cycle, whether it's a bull market going from 3 to 4%, whether it's a bear market going from a half a percent to now 0.8%, uh, right? Things are actually scaling up. And this is at a time where there's been a, a bunch that's been done to actually move the network forward. That's why this report doesn't make any sense to me. It's just, it's riddled with just flat out lies and misinformation. And this is why I bring it up. It's important that people are aware that this type of crap is out there. So no, I don't think it's time to sell your ADA. All right. Me personally, this is where I am accumulating. People can always do what they want. You can read this report if you want, go further, but you got to do better, buddy. You got to do better. So appreciate you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts below, but hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.